Pretty much everyone who watches me is a big fan of Nassim here. Want to say hello to everybody? Hi, everybody. It's great to be on the show. How you all doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're always doing well over at the Observers. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning, folks. That was Nassim and I moments before our panel discussion yesterday. It's interesting out here for sure. Well, folks, looking at our star, that massive plasma filament has my full attention. It has remained calm and attached, but now directly faces Earth, and it's the top eruption threat today. The solar flaring appears less willing to offer us a show, but the sunspots are teasing us with a great cast. We've got growing umbras and building complexity center disk, but no fireworks. The group behind that to the north is a bit spread magnetically, and we've got some more spots cresting the limb now. The top space weather event ongoing is a coronal hole stream currently affecting Earth. Density dropping out as the speed rises this morning. So far, it's only moderately speedy at best, so our shield is doing just fine taking the impact. The Sonoma list updated a day late, but I'll take the time now to mention a gamma ray burst double tap on the 6th. Hook mentioned it in a comment when it happened actually, great catch. Positive coronal hole exiting up north, negative opening coming in dark from the left. Discover satellite. We are 90% go. Launch has been pushed and pushed. Should finally happen today. This will revolutionize how we look at the solar wind. I've linked their blog for you below so we can stay updated. In the US and Canada, the winter storms continue trekking across the land. You can see the lows. Still stealing power from the moisture flow, heading to the west coast. The atmospheric river event was indeed minor. Shifts southward a bit now. Flash flooding risks still abound out on the coastal areas and a bit inland, while snowstorms continue rolling to the east. In addition to a major freeze taking place at the strong wind flow out of the Arctic, the right side of that reinforced flow is a strong low pressure cell. That's regulating the region right now, and that's where the worst of it will likely be found tonight weather-wise. Down under. The monsoon north remains under that same flow, while we've also got a convergence over New Zealand pushing back towards the southeast coastline of Australia. Still generally a lighter day, but if anyone experiences a quick weather shift in those areas, feel free to give us a weather share. Got your current conditions followed by shots of our star to close at 6.45 in the east, 3.45 a.m. in California. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.